with another Disney Bound cast challenge. I've decided to switch to doing speed casts because the way I was doing it before was getting a little redundant. It turned into me just going, what about these pants? Or maybe these pants? And I think watching me struggle to make decisions was probably getting a little old. Of course, voiceovers are a lot harder. I've recorded this one like 10 times now, trying to make it like make sense and be interesting. Let me know which style you prefer. I really value your guys' feedback. Anyway, today I'm doing the White Rabbit. I pulled this out of my hat full of Disney characters, and I thought it was kind of funny because I literally just watched The Matrix for the first time. And if you've seen The Matrix, you know that the White Rabbit kind of plays a role in the movie. Alice in Wonderland is referenced a lot as The Matrix itself is described as the rabbit hole. It is honestly such a good movie. I can't believe it took me so long to get around to watching it. The writing is fantastic. And the acting is also, like, understated. It's a pretty intense story, but the whole thing is done with this subtlety that makes it seem like really effortless and really masterful. I know it's an old movie and you've probably all seen it before, but like if you haven't, you really should. Like, highly recommend it. I'm also a huge fan of Alice in Wonderland. As I've mentioned in previous videos, I've done a bunch of characters from this one. I adore the book, and I feel like Disney just really did Lewis Carroll proud when they adapted it. They kept a lot of the, like, whimsy and didn't shy away from being kind of dark, while still just, like, having a lot of fun with it. It's been a hot minute since I've seen it, but fangirling over it like this makes me really want to watch it again. As for the White Rabbit himself, I've always just found him kind of obnoxious. I don't even really know why. He doesn't do that much in the movie, besides just, like, running through scenes to keep Alice moving through Wonderland. Something about him just always seems snooty and like maybe a little too subservient to the queen, like I never really trusted him. I feel like there's more to his character and I kind of want to focus on him more in my rewatch, because before I just wrote him off as annoying. This look was kind of tricky to put together, but I had a lot of fun with it. I really wanted like a clock necklace. I feel like that could have been really pretty and tied it together really well, but of course we didn't have anything like that, so I just went with a wristwatch. I had to wear this giant bow, which is just ridiculous, but I felt like it referenced rabbit ears really well. Anyway, we're coming up on the end here. I will be really interested to hear what you guys think. I'm late. I'm late. For a very important date. No time to say hello. Goodbye. I'm late. I'm late. I'm late. It must be awfully important. Like a party or something. Mr. Rabbit! Wait! No, 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 no. I'm overdue. I'm really in a stew. No time to say goodbye. Hello, I'm late, I'm late, I'm late. So that's it for my white rabbit. Let me know what you guys thought. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next episode. Bye!